Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this 90s inspired hair. Um, the actual inspiration comes from Sukiyana and at Alluring Hands on Instagram. Here's the video of what I saw that made me like, yes, I have to recreate. And um, <laughs> y'all see it. Don't play with me. My, my name? Shit, what was my name? Damn. I gave myself a ghetto, not a ghetto name, I gave myself a classic black girl 90s name, but I forget what it is, so how about you comment below what I'm giving, what I'm serving, what, what, what name am I serving right now, and I hope you enjoy the video, and yeah, I'm gonna shut up now, let's get to the video, get to the video. Okay, so let's get started. Today's hair is from Victoria's Wig. I just want to show you a couple things. I usually never show packaging because it's usually kind of basic. But this kind of game wasn't they. The box was cute. Let's get that off the off the bat. The box is cute. We love we love packaging. We sure do. This little baggie it came in. It had tassels on it. Who would you know about the tassels on the bag? You don't know about the tassels on the bag. This little baggie. It had two, not not one. But two wig caps that I'm not going to use because they're dark brown. But maybe underneath a wig, glueless wig. I'm going to use these. I just decided that I'm going to use these. It switched that fast. I'm going to end up using these. I um, came with two packages of wig caps. A nice little scarf for your edges. A carbon fiber comb. Like I mentioned in a video one time. I don't know which one. For some reason a lip brush. Cute. Um, some tweezers. We love to see it. And the edge brush that I that I like. I love this kind of edge brush. This was pleasant. It was pleasant to see. And then, y'all, I got some real HD lace on my hands. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally do this. It's a 20 inch, 300% density wig. I'm really selling this to y'all. I, I'm so sorry, but this is how I'm feeling right now, and I'm, I'm I'm really pleased with this wig. So let's keep going. Only thing I did to this hair was bleach my knots, and I really didn't have to do that because it looked good. This is what it's looking like. Um, I will probably end up plucking it a little bit on my head simply because I don't like when wigs have that like pre made hairline shape. I'm gonna end up changing that probably, but um, other than that. This wig does not need to be plucked at all. This is really nice. So I think I'm going to throw it on my head right now and do a little pre-pluck before we get started. And then even, I don't think I'm going to spray my, my lace spray on it. Like it just seems like this is going to be a really great install. Yeah, you see how it's like a line? Like from the pre-made like hairline thing? I think I'm just going to pluck a little bit of it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my wig cap my wig stand but like I just want to show y'all what I'm talking about about like the pre-made hairline shape so but the wig itself does not need to be plucked that much I'm just going to pluck around the perimeter of the hairline a little bit and then we're ready to install okay so now that I plucked it just a little bit it looks a lot better and this is literally only the hair I plucked this is it we love to see it so now I'm going to do something really ghetto it's because I have these fat ass lashes on <laughs> I love calling shit fat I got these fat ass lashes on and I don't think I'm really going to be able to put on, I'm going to try my, I, let's go back a little bit, girl, I'm trying something new. I'm doing something different, you feel me? I'm going to do it a different way <laughs> that we're going to see. But, um, in order to do it to the best of my ability, I need to cut off some of the excess lace because it's going to like hit my lashes as I cut it off. So, we're going to just go ahead and cut some of the lace off. But, I do want to say... I know that this is HD lace by the way the edge is. Yeah, but see how the uh, line that I said was there is like kind of less harsh now. And now it's time to install. I've only attempted the way I'm about to install this lace twice. So, and every time before it didn't turn out good. But this is HD lace. I'm just hoping that, you know, the wig gods will come and, you know, bless me and just make sure that I have a great install.
So, um, I know I'm gonna have a wrinkle. I don't know what I did here, but I'm gonna have a wrinkle in my forehead right here. And I'm kind of upset about it. I hate when my lace does this. But there's not really anything I can do, I don't think, to solve a wrinkle in my lace. I don't know. I'm just hoping when I cut off my lace and put on my elastic band that it'll go away. But right now, I can just tell that I have a wrinkle in my lace. If you know why that happens, because I don't even know why it happens, when I install on like my friends and stuff, it'd be happening on like their wigs, and I just never know why. So if you do know why, like, feel free to let a bitch know, because I don't be knowing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Uh, hopefully it did its thing under there, you know, hopefully it cooked as much as it could. And, and yeah, yeah it did. It, it literally did. <laughs> this is my hair. And I, I don't want to speak too soon, but the, the wrinkle in my forehead went away. I know y'all see my hair looking like my hair. And we don't got to talk about it anymore. This is no longer a wig. We're not, we're not referring to it as a wig anymore from this point forward. This is my hair. Thank you. We're going to do to my hair this style. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna do our baby hairs on my hair. On my hair. On my hair. Okay. So I guess it just isn't my baby hair day, and that's fine, whatever, but my hair just don't look good to me right now, but maybe when I finish up and I have, like, the look together, maybe I'll feel better, but I'm gonna use the scarf they give me in the package, and I'm gonna fold it in half so all the, um, all the majority of the scarf is only on, like, the lace and not really so much on, like, the baby hair. I just hope my hair comes together in the end because I'm just not seeing the vision right now, but I'm sure everything will be okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and separate the hair that I'm going to use for the front piece. Time for me to do like the half up half down portion of it. And I'm going to grab here about right here on each side. Put it out of these three. And then her actual ponytail didn't seem that tight. It just was like a placeholder for the updo. So that's what we're going to do it like now. What I'm going to do is just separate it into, or maybe I'll just make it two rolls. And I'm just going to comb through. And I'm going to start rolling it upon itself, so I guess I'll just do it like that. I hope that makes sense. I hope that did something for y'all. And then I'll just start rolling the hair up into itself. And then I'm going to baby, I'm going to bobby pin it. And then boom, you got your little row. Another one in the back. Roll around my finger. Roll it upon itself. And then boom, we got our little rolls on the top. I'm gonna use my Easy Edges Edge Control Stick. Just use this to make sure the hair goes in the direction that I want it to go. And hot comb over it. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Gotta Be Spray on this. And that was a lot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna comb through. And 
The goal here is to make it like a little circle. Hold on. It was like a little circle that just went back down on itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to discreetly bobby pin it. And by discreetly, however the fuck this bobby pin go in. Okay, so we can move back down to flat iron the rest of the hair and then the look is almost completed. I'm gonna take a little bit of my ion silk and then just go ahead and run it through the hair and then just begin flat ironing. Y'all know how flat ironing goes. I'm not really going to include this. But I will show you guys the natural state of the hair. And honestly, it doesn't even need this soap. This is like some good hair. <laughs> I've been getting sent a lot of good hair lately. So I'm glad that um, I get to put it on my channel to put you guys on. Um, a lot of people ask me about like my top hair companies. Any hair company you see on my page, on my channel it's vetted by me because i will never ever 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 put no trash on here for y'all that's what i'm not gonna do i do get sent the hair and i do get paid to review the hair but what i don't do is lie to y'all don't put y'all on the trash hair so just gonna let y'all know so i just threw on my bamboos i'm gonna throw a little curl in my hair in the little bang i think that would be cute i'm not sure if she had a curl right here but i just feel like i would like that so that's what we're gonna do Oh, stop playing with me. I'm giving y'all 90s hair realness. The category is 90s hair realness. And here it is. I gave it to y'all. How do y'all feel? I didn't know I needed this this much. I didn't know that I... I... <sighs> wow. This is this is great. I said I'm done with my hair, but so I'm not going to fix that. But, you know, I could fix my little row. I'm not. But um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, really enjoyed this. I'm going to be doing this as a series now. Well, I should hopefully say that in the intro. So, hope you guys are looking forward to my little 90s inspired hair, black hair series. I also plan on doing some quarantine, like, easy go-to styles that include, like, little to no excess hair. But I'm bald-headed, so I might be using some hair, but you don't need some hair. So, that's something I really want to do soon. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, beautiful.